Hi, this is Maria. I'm going to show you how to download files uh, from Etsy. Um, there's going to be some picture files and there's going to be some Procreate brush files. I was asked just the other day if I had a video on how to download brushes and separately I was asked if I had a video on how to use um, the iZip to open files that are downloaded that are zipped and I had to say no so I'm going to do one video that shows you both of that. So in order to download files from Etsy you have to go to the website you can't use Etsy uh, the Etsy app okay and also if you have a zip file that you're downloading you need an iZip type of app. Now there's an iZip uh, just iZip it's a free app and that works just fine. I went ahead and purchased the Pro because I use it a lot. But I did start out using iZip, uh, the free version. So it does work. All right, so I'm going to open my app just to show you that I did purchase a bunch of things um, using the app. However, you cannot download using the app. You'll get all kinds of crazy errors and you'll drive yourself crazy because it drove me crazy until I realized that. You need to go to the internet and type in www.etsy.com. Open it from the website, okay? Then log in. Mine's already logged in. Click you, purchases and reviews. And from here, you can see everything that you ever purchased on Etsy, okay? So I'm going to find the order that I want, this last one and I'm going to download files. Okay. Now, I ordered some stickers and I ordered the brushes. I'm going to work on this order right. This was one item that I purchased and it came with several files. So, I'm going to start with the guides. They are zipped, it tells you right there. And then after that we'll do the brushes that will go straight into Procreate. The first one, I'm going to click download. And because I already have iZip, the app is already on my device, it's asking me right away, do I want to open in iZip? I'm going to say yes. Just click it, and it downloads. Do I want to unzip all the files? Yes. I said OK. There they all are. I'm going to select the little All button, so they all check mark. And then I'm going to say Save. These are G JPG files, JPEGs. They're pictures, okay? By pushing save, I sent them all to my photo album. Okay, you can do other things. This, I have found, is the easiest way that I do it, okay? I'm going to click OK. I'm done with this. I'm going to go to my photo album, and you will see that there are, are all of those little picture files that I just downloaded. Now, I like to keep mine organized in albums. So if I go to my albums, I have lots and lots of albums. I have one called Planner Stuff where I keep every downloaded um, PNG file that I have. So now I'm going to go back to my regular folder. Regular, this is where they came in. I'm going to select all of these new ones. Okay, and I'm going to add two. You can create a new folder if you don't have one, a new album. I already have one called Planner. So there, I just put all of these. I'm going to click Albums, and they are in my album called Planner. Okay, there's all my albums, and there are the new files that I just added. Okay. Now, let's go back to the website, Etsy website. It comes right back to where we just were. I'm going to click the back button, and it takes me back to the Etsy uh, downloaded page. And I'm going to click the next item in this one little order, which is the brush set. And these will go straight into Procreate. So I'm going to click download. And I already have the Procreate app already in my device, so it gives me that right there. Open in Procreate. 
and it take it just opens Procreate, but guess what? They're already in there. I'm going to just open a file that I've already been working on. Yes, I do my own nails. Um, if you click your paintbrush, you will see, go all the way to the top. The top one will be the newest one. It gives you this particular set, gave me an eraser, lines, and a bunch of brushes. Okay? And that's it. Those are ready to use. If I turn off my layers here, I'll add a new layer. Let's just try this out real quick. Let's give me a dark color. We're going to do some lettering slant lines. And just don't pick up your pen. And I've just created my lettering paper. I would just add another layer. Pick a different color. You don't have to pick a different color. Pick a brush pen. And okay, I suck at lettering, so bear with me. You can change the size of your pen here and then just start practicing. Okay, make that thinner. So as you can see, I need a lot of practice, but you do get, that is the thickest brush. So you get a classic, you get a flat top. Um, I'm going to have to play with these because these look very interesting. And um, I don't normally hand letter, so you can see that I'm not very good at it. But um, these are really interesting brushes. And you get lots of different effects. So, great for practice. Great for practice. I need a lot of practice. Um, but you get lots and lots of brushes, you get a giant eraser, and you get lines that you can play with. Okay? So, that is how to download from the Etsy website, how to use iZip Pro, which is very easy, it kind of does everything for you, how to make a photo album how to use a photo album, and how to download Procreate brushes right into your Procreate app. I hope this was helpful. Thank you for watching.